Among the thousands of students walking around in the Seattle State Convention Center, a light shined on the most unique of booths where a mom and her son shared their story. What is this bracelet, this quilt, and this 14-year-old boy from New Jersey doing to help fight kids' cancer? Let's take a quick look. I started this foundation in September of 2009 after my cancer treatments. And I, I learned that a kid's odds of getting cancer are one in every 320, and that they get less than 3% of the cancer research funding. And I saw kids dying around me, and I knew it wasn't right, so it inspired me to start this foundation to try and make a difference in the pediatric cancer world. 14-year-old Malcolm was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, a malignant bone tumor, when he was just 10 years old. Now with the help of his family, Malcolm has built a national foundation from the ground up. But where did this drive come from that has made his foundation so successful? Something that really inspired me is a boy named Michael, who was about two doors down from me in the oncology floor. During the night after my surgery, I heard his mom scream out into the night, and I just learned that Michael, at two years old, had died. And it was really powerful to me, and it inspired me to try and make a difference, because some, everyone in this country needs to know about pediatric cancer and the horrors that it causes. Pushing aside the long days of work and travel, Malcolm turns to his skills with the electric guitar. He plays at his events to help raise money, and even when he's just sitting around in his free time. Uh, I always play the guitar at, all, at our events. And it's become such great fun for me. Uh, I learn different classic rock songs every year. This past year I actually did Bad to the Bone by George Thurgood. Awesome. It, was, it was great fun.